This is the color scheme of my of my job, yellow and black. That's story blocks. I get up and we get over to Dominic's room. As I sit down, he slaps a pile of papers in front of me. Okay, so this was part multiple choice, part essay problem solving. I'll take care of the essay portions, take this answer sheet, and just do the multiple choice stuff. That'll make things go much faster. Sure, sounds easy enough. Thanks, I appreciate you helping me. Oh, he looks so adorable. Dominic, you're adorable. That sounds like it was hard for him to admit. Poor thing. Heh. <laughs> we both start off rather quietly. It's not hard to compare the filled-in bubbles to the answer sheet. Mostly a matter of putting one on top of the other and marking the differences. Dominic gets a bit absorbed in his work, not even really looking at what I'm doing anymore. Try to learn more about Dominic. Nice. Well, this is stupid. I can either keep sniping it at him or I can maybe try to find out what makes him tick. Couldn't hurt to maybe brighten his opinion of me at any rate. So, how'd you fall behind? You're pretty good about this stuff normally, aren't you? Dominic is still distracted by his own papers. It seems like he only half hears me. Hmm? Oh, Raid ran later than it should have. DPS screwing around as always. Oh, he's such a gamer. I love it. I love that Dominic's a gamer. Wait, what? What are you talking about? What do you mean, what am I? Ah, oh, I hadn't meant to say that. Well, you did, so explain. Yeah, yeah, keep grading, though. Have you ever heard of massively multiplayer online games? Not really. I play video games on the internet. I love Dominic. He's such a gamer. So, nerd stuff, basically. Yeah, nerd stuff. You know, I'm getting a master's in physics, right? I'm pretty much planning on making a career out of nerd stuff. Hey, don't get me wrong. I don't care if you do your nerd if you do your nerd stuff. It's not my bag, but I'll only make fun of you for it occasionally. Dominic shoots me a dirty look, but it's clear I'm kidding. So why would you? Why would that keep you up? Can't you just pause that stuff or something? No, no, not the online stuff. Too many other people. Yeah, I I understand that completely. I don't do a lot of. I I did a lot of massive multiplayer player gaming with City of Heroes. Um, just because that's really the only massive, the only MMORPG that I actually liked. Um, I tried World of War, World of Warcraft. It didn't really stick for me. Um, and I did do a little bit of the Star Wars, uh, the Old Republic, which I loved a lot, the one from Bioware. But then you know I ended up um, having other games that I really wanted to play. And I probably wouldn't be let's playing right now if I kept on doing MMORPGs because that would be the only thing I'd be playing and not not fun games, other super fun games like this one. I never would have figured you for a gamer. Yeah, well, like I said, I'm in pretty a nerdy career path. Some of my friends got me into it. So you do know how to have fun after all. Oh, shut up. Of course I know how to have fun. Learn something every day. I think I'm done with this batch. Dominic and the guy trade stacks and continue to grade. Finally, we get everything finished. Ah, oh, it's so sweet. All right, well, now that I've bailed you out of your irresponsible gamer troubles, I think I'll head out and figure out how best to lord it over you. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I appreciate the help, Max, even if you are a punk A. I mockingly salute him as I make my way out. I guess everyone's got another side that we don't necessarily get to see all the time. I love this. I love watching the relationship, you know, develop. How on earth can one class have so much homework assigned? Do you have any ridiculous? Uh, I don't know what it is about doing yoga that makes me want a milkshake afterwards. Such a weird reaction. Um, that was okay, I guess. I can't believe all my finals are done. That was grueling. Winter break is set to start after this week. Apparently there are makeup finals on Friday before they officially end the quarter. That just means I get to spend Thanksgiving with my new roommates. Yay! Thanksgiving! I love that we're celebrating all the holidays, or the American holidays at least. Everyone's really happy about their tests being over. Even if we bombed the test, we're all just happy to have them over with. Most of us slept in tot and slept in today, catching up on the sleep we'd been missing from the last few days of studying. Since Sally and Rakesh are doing the cooking, the rest of us took the opportunity to watch some movies. I'm a little bummed I'm missing my family's Thanksgiving. My mom's turkey will make a grown man cry. It's so good. But hanging out with my new roommates has been good too. Even Dominic's relaxed. Hey, Anne, Max, one of you want to come in here and give us her hand real quick? Everything's okay in there, right? Oh, yeah, it's fine. We just need a little help with some of the cutting. I can go. Or were you going to... Yeah. We're going to do our holiday. You stay out here. I'll help. Okay, come on, Max. 
Oh, are you helping us? Thank you, Max. Okay, I'm trying to put together this lasagna. I have to lay the noodles down. Can you help slice the vegetables? Yay, we're cooking with Sally again. I love cooking. Sure. I pick up a knife and start slicing zucchini. Oh, get these apples as well, please. I'm making a stuffing. Okay, I'll get those next. Thank you. Vegetable lasagna, Sally? Yep, whole wheat noodles, chopped spinach, vegan cream cheese. It's gonna be great! I guess that's why you're got, you've got turkey duties, Rakesh. No vegan problems for you, huh? No, I'm not a vegetarian. I don't eat beef. I don't eat, I'm not vegetarian. I don't eat beef, though. Lucky for you, hamburgers on Thanksgiving would be really weird. Ew, yeah, it would. Are you going to try my lasagna, Max? I suppose it can't kill me. Gee, thanks. We all chuckle as we bustle about the kitchen. Once I've got all the cutting done, I take the goods to their respective cooks. Oh, thank you, Max. Here, put those in there. I need to put this into the turkey in a moment. Actually, Max, could you give me a hand over here? I have to lay this sauce out in good layers so it doesn't get all runny. I'm gonna help Rakesh. Sally's got this. She's got this. Let me help out Rakesh and I'll get over there, Sally. Oh, okay, don't worry about it. I'll just take, it'll just take me a little longer. Here, hold open the turkey. I will stuff it. You got it. So do you miss your family this time of year, Rakesh? Not especially. My family did not celebrate Thanksgiving or Christmas. Occasionally I miss India, but I'm still very much enamored of the U.S. Actually, this place is so very much fun. I don't have much time for missing home. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. You have been most helpful to me, Max. I appreciate you being so nice to me. Hey, no problem, bro. You're a pretty fun guy yourself, you know. Well, I am glad to be fun for you as well. We should hang out more often, man. I would like that quite a bit. Thank you for the assistance, Max. Is yours ready, Sally? Sure is! Let's get into the oven! Together we gather up the various oven-bound foods and get everything set. For the next several hours, I help Rakesh and Sally in the kitchen. Cutting, chopping, snacking... Max, keep your fingers out of there! What? Finally, after all our hard work, we call the others to get to the table. About time! We're starving out here! Yeah, yeah, you can't rush perfection. It smells delicious, Sally. Sally grins as we start putting the food on the table. Wow, that's a great looking turkey, Rakesh. Thank you very much. Wait, you mean Max didn't get in the way? Oh, shut up. Everyone sits and starts digging into the food right away. We've got turkey, cranberries, biscuits, both vegan and regular, Sally's vegan lasagna, candied yams, and mashed potatoes. It's a huge spread and everyone takes some of everything. Wow, this lasagna is actually really good, Sally. Yes, this is truly delicious. Wow, yeah, this is really good. Aw, thanks everybody, I'm glad you like it. Everyone is quiet for a bit and we all chow down. I can see Sally sneaking in a few scraps into a small bag at her side. Probably for her puppy. I'm surprised that Dominic hasn't caught it yet. I quietly slip in a few pieces of turkey as well. She grins at me and slips the pieces into her bag. After all, I am for spoiling our... I'm all for spoiling our little secret. Finally, our meal begins to slow down as people start to fill up. Ugh, oh, so full. That was really, really good. There's still some food on the table, but we devoured most of it. Oh man, that turkey was good. I'm going to be having turkey sandwiches for the next month. I'm just glad my lasagna got finished. Everyone mumbles their appreciation for lasagna. I think everyone's making plans for the leftovers. Well, thank you, chefs, for the incredible food. I hope nobody minds. We always had a tradition in my place of going around the table and saying what we're thankful for. For instance, I'm thankful that a lot of you yahoos haven't burned the house down on my watch. I laugh as everyone boos Dominic. Isabel throws a biscuit at him. All right, all right. I'm thankful for new friends and a new year. Oh, Dominic does like us. He's softening to us, and he looks really hot in that jacket, too. Um, and I like his golden eyes. It's very, very Alistair. Alistair from Dragon Age. Hmm. Speaking of Dragon Age, Isabella. I'm thankful for hot students and interesting new prospects. She winks at me as she says that. I'm thankful for everyone being so nice to me and making me feel welcome. Everyone just gives Anne a big aww. She really is cute. Well, I think I'm most thankful for Gamboge. It has brightened up several of my projects quite beautifully. Also that my parents have not called yet. <laughs> I'm thankful for a house that understands my choices and does their best to live in harmony with each other. Finally, it comes down to me. I have to think for a moment about what I want to say. 
Be thankful for Sally. Be thankful for Isabella. Be thankful for Dominic. Be thankful for Rakesh. Be thankful for Anne. I'm gonna be... I'm gonna surprise everybody. I'm gonna surprise everybody and say, I'm gonna be thankful for Dominic. Oh yes. Oh yes. I can't... I don't get a chance to really hang out with Dominic very much, so I'm gonna do it as much as I can to try to get the relationship up. I'm most thankful that Dominic hasn't kicked my butt out of the house yet. Yeah, you should be thankful. Everyone laughs as we clap for one another's speeches. All right, all right, that's enough of the love fest. Somebody did bring some pie, right? Oh yes, full vegan pumpkin pie. Good enough. We all grab our forks back up as we all start thick ta talking at once again. It's a great meal and a great day with great friends. I'm definitely glad I picked this house to stay in. I don't know what that professor did actually count as teaching. Definitely screening and I don't think teaching. People always asking for the weirdest colors here. Yes, I need some matching help. I got some new accessories for my room, and now the curtains don't match the drapes. Oh, gosh. Is that a... Okay, I'm not going to mention anything about that. Why am I talking to myself? I got a good stretch today. I'm feeling a little looser. Uh, that was good. Time for breakfast. I mean, for lunch, apparently. You can tell this is a college town. Nothing but indie band flyers and numbers for tutors. The posters start to pile up after a while. I'm heading home to take a shower. Well, that was a fun night. I guess I really like watching plays. Knowledge assimilation 100% completed. Please insert new book. I'll just take a quick nap. Four hour nap. You should come more often, Max. Your form's getting better. <gasps> Yay. My reflectiveness is almost... Oh, teacher assistant philosophy job unlocked. Winter break. Just click here to start... Just click to start the big event. Oh, man. I got to save for winter break. I gotta save, I gotta save. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I'm, I can't wait. How are my stats doing? Uh, okay. I'm almost, I'm almost at the, uh, at where I need to be with my, cre my creative is 100. I only need up to 100, and then my reflective, okay, cool. Let's click here to start the big event. Uh, oh, start. Click start to start the big event. Okay, well I wanted to adjust my I wanted to adjust my thing. Okay, well I guess I'll just start. Sure. Monday, new event. Finals are over and it's finally time for the first break. I think I've spent way too long studying this quarter and not nearly enough time working on my band. That all changes this break though. Gaz finally relented and says I get to headline this week. Sure, it's because his main band canceled it, but who cares? I call it opportunity. I called Memphis over, and we're meeting tonight to discuss the playlist. This is going to be a great winter break. I pulled some snacks out of the fridge, and I've got a list of songs on the table. This could really be our big break. All right, chump, you ready for this? Memphis, you know it, bro. Did you get Slim's suggestions? She's still at work? Yeah, she should be off for a while. All the shows, though. Couldn't get the time completely off. Okay, well, we can work some of her faves of the out rotation. Jerry said he didn't care. You know him? He'll play whatever we say t to play. He's gonna be eyeing the crowd anyway. Meh, as long as, heh, as long as he plays his heart out, we can, he can eye screw the whole audience for all I care. That's fine, just don't tell him that. He'll take it as a challenge. Memphis and I flop down on the couch and start going over our best songs. This has got to be, this, this has got to be a set to remember, bro. I know, I know. Don't get too worked up, man. We're ready for this. Yeah, I know. We got this. We do? Oh, hey, Gaz wants to know if you want him to comp, to comp anybody. No drinking unless they're over 21, but he'll let them he'll let him in. I can't think of anybody offhand. What, not even your roommates? I mean, you live with them, don't, sh don't they know what you do? Well, yeah, I guess I could invite them along. Only one comp per person, man. Sorry, you're going to have to make a choice. <sighs> you bringing someone along? Yeah, you bring us along? Nah, you a-holes are my only friends. And I just... And, and I ain't that just the saddest thing you ever heard. Memphis dramatically throws himself against the arm of the couch as I roll my eyes at him. We're gonna have a couple of shows this week. I guess I could invite everyone one at a time, or I could just pick someone. Oh, hey guys. Hey, Anne. Say, what are you up to tonight? Packing. I'm going home to visit my folks tomorrow. I'll be back for the new semester. You're such a sweetie, Anne. Annie? Ugh, I hate that nickname. Oh, I lost some points there. Anne rolls her eyes at Memphis, who simply finds the whole thing amusing. 
what are you two up to? Planning tonight's show. Our band's actually headlining. Oh, that's great! Yeah, it's gonna be incredible. Speaking of, we should probably get back to it. Oh, say no more. Have fun, guys. Knock them dead. Memphis and I go over to the show notes until we can recite them forward and backwards. I may sa slack about a lot of things, but this show's gotta be good. I know the band can handle it. We just have to set up, get up there, and perform. Once we're finally satisfied, I walk Memphis to the door, then head up to my room. The only life for me to decide is who, if anyone, I want to bring along. Oh, I know! I'll invite Dominic! Ha ha ha! No, I'd actually like to have fun tonight, which means D-Bag is off the table. I'm pretty sure fun is, up, is against religion. No, you know he likes to have fun. You know he plays this nerdy video games. Plus, I would have, if, if Dominic was on the was on the table, I would have had him bring him, just because, you know, any excuse I can to push those two to getting along, I'm gonna take it. But, I'm gonna invite Rakesh. Nice. I was thinking about inviting one of the girls. I mean, a rocker needs a groupie, right? But on the other hand, I don't want to be distracted trying to show off for one of the girls. Maybe I can just invite Rakesh. He seems like he'd appreciate the show, one artist to another. Exactly, he's an artist, so that makes perfect sense. It's kind of funny, he's the only one that we could we could invite, consider, and I think it's because his, our relationship with him is so high. I knock on his door and hear rustling inside. Come in. I push open the door and see Rakesh with his head up against the wall, adding another messy paint splotch on, onto the crazy colors. Um, I don't think human hair works as good as a paintbrush. I will just have to go to the art store. Rakesh, you have seriously got to stop doing things the hard way. You're going to give yourself brain damage. It is fine. This is actually water-soluble body paint. Let it not be said I do not learn from my mistakes. He seems so pleased that he's learned to not kill himself, I can't help but laugh. Luckily, he takes it good-naturedly. So what brings you to my room, Max? Yes, what brings you to his room, Max? Oh hey, wanna come to my show tonight? My band's playing. It's gonna be awesome. Ah, that sounds fantastic. We have not had a group outing in quite some time. Actually, uh, it's just one comp ticket, so it's just you. Oh, uh, well, surely you'd rather invite one of the girls then. Isabella, probably? Nah, man. Apparently, I don't really care much about Isabella because our relationship stinks. I'm inviting you. You're a fun guy, Rakesh. I'd like you to see me strut my stuff. Rakesh looks like he's mulling over it. Seriously, I've been thinking we should hang out more often. You're interesting. Very well, I think I'll be a lot of fun. It'll be a lot of- it will be a lot of fun. I should probably wash this paint out. How long do I have? It's fine, you've got three hours. I've got to go down early to set up. You going to be okay to get there on your own? Yes, that will be fine. I will get ready and see you there. Thank you for the invitation, Max. I hope it will be a good show. You and me both, bro. Alright, I'll see you in a bit. Rakesh grins widely at me, wildly at me as I head back to my room. I knew this would mean a lot to him. I'm glad he accepted the invite. Yay! Relationship up, almost up to half away. Back in my room, I throw together a few last minute things and then start taking it out to my van. Half an hour later, and I'm on my way to the down to the bar. There you are, Jack A. You ready to rock this scene? That's right, what about you guys? Oh, the, can you get to meet the rest of the band? The rest of the band gives a yell as I unpack the gear I brought. As we unpack, we go over the song list for the night. Jerry grumbles at some of our choices, but Slim is down. We practice a few of our rockier mumbers, numbers while we get a sound check down. Gaz even stays out to listen to us practice a bit, get our comp names, and wish us luck. I can tell he's not really putting a lot of pressure on this. He probably expects the house to be empty. That's fine. It just means we're going to rock him even harder. Finally, it's time for the curtains to go down and people to start filtering, filtering in. I'm a little worried there'll be disappointed fans of the cancel show out there, but even if there are, they're about to be new fans for us. Alright boys and girls, it's about time to do this. There are probably a lot of people out there expecting to see a mediocre college band. This is our chance to hook them. We play this gig right and we just bought ourselves a ton of new fans. Come on back Alley Flash, this house ain't gonna rock itself. You ready? That's right we are, we were born for this. We all pound fists to take our positions as the curtain raise rises. Finally, with the light in my eyes, I scan the crowd. I think I can make out Rakesh towards the front, but I'm too busy taking in the audience. It's not small. Hey, everybody! Glad you could make it out. I'd love to. I'd love to say you all came out here to talk to, here to hear me talk, but I'm guessing you came here to rock the rock out. Am I right? 
The crowd cheers a bit. They're not quite into it yet. I rip a quick hook from our first song of the night before leaning back into the mic. Maybe I was wrong, but I don't think so. What do you say? Want to hear some these some songs? This time the cheer is a bit louder. Will and win him over for sure. I grin at the band and Slim starts us off with a solid beat. I don't even think I can remember what happened for the next 45 minutes. It was just all a blur of hot music and hotter dancers. By the end of the third song, just about everyone was on their feet. Gaz started Gaz starting the show with half off. Well, drinks didn't hurt anything. I'll have to thank him for that. When the curtains finally dropped, the band got together in, in a giant group hug. We were just so ecstatic. Yeah, that's right. After a show, all that adrenaline. I love that rush. Finally, our comps come backstage to us. Slim's giant of a boyfriend gave her a huge bear hug. Um, seriously, it was like watching a bear rip a willow out of the ground. Rakesh stayed back at first. I guess I wanted to get in their way. After high-fiving Memphis, I hurried over. Rakesh! Glad you could make it, bro! I trot over and give him a big hug. Thank you for inviting me. This is a very fun occasion. Your musical talents are awe inspiring you choose your notes carefully and your words paint as well as any brush I've used. Wow, thanks Rakesh, I appreciate the compliments. That was a pretty awesome show though, right? Most definitely. You seem like you're pretty into music, like you have some good insights. It is an art I'm sadly lacking in, but I know enough basics to be appreciative. Definitely, we should talk about it some more sometime. Rakesh beams happily at me. I would like that a lot. For now, you... You probably want to be with your band to celebrate your wonderful performance, yes? No! Ask Rakesh to hang out! Yeah! 50! We're halfway to max! Yeah, man! So come on, let's go! Oh, did you want me to come as well? Of course! You're my buddy, right? Let's celebrate a house well and properly rocked, man! Let's celebrate a house well and properly rocked, my man! Come on! Rakesh seems almost conflicted at first, but he smiles happily at me and nods. I actually need to use the restroom, and, but I will come back and join you shortly, alright? Sure thing, man, just meet us at the bar. I hold up a hand for a high five, which he gives me before heading off back off the stage. I head back to the band for some more congratulations as we all head out to the floor of the bar. Gaz comps us some drinks, not alcoholic unfortunately, and congratulates us on a great set. I can barely hear him talking about the great crowd reaction we got, how he's going to have a bigger marketing push to see if he can increase crowds the next few nights. I'm still coming down off the high of top-notch performance. Nice job, a-hole. You too, D. You too. New event. This has been a really good week. Probably one of my best weeks ever. Back Alley Flash performed for standing room only crowds all week. I couldn't even invite anyone else to come watch. Gaz had dollar signs in his eyes. This is an incredible start for my band. I even managed to have a great Christmas. Aw, oh, we didn't have a Christmas event. That's a shame. I managed to sneak Rakesh into my last show right before Christmas. Ooh, sneaking Rakesh in. Afterwards, we went out uh, on to one of my favorite dives and just talked for hours. Heck, we rang in Christmas around 3 a.m., which is the best time to celebrate. Nice. Great. Now we can start the next semester. Awesome. Things are falling into place. So we unlocked... We unlocked the um, philosophy, which means that um, we end up losing more energy, but we get more reflectiveness from it and probably more money from it too. Um, cafeteria clerk, football water boy, it's still the same. And I guess the art store is still the same. We probably will unlock other things um, as we keep going. So right now we have 75% energy. I mean, I might as well keep going with, yeah, I mean, I might as well keep going with each of my skills, right? Continue being more creative and more reflective. I mean, that's probably a good way to go about it. Um, we could probably stand to study more. Um, so let's see. 75% should be enough because we're going to be, well, the thing is, philosophy takes out 12 now. So I'm just making sure I have enough energy because this is going to be negative 10. This is going to be negative 12. This is going to be another negative 10. Negative 10, negative 22. Negative 32, negative 42, 
Um, this will be, no, this will be negative 44. This is going to be negative 54. This is going to be negative um, 64, I think. Yeah, no, this is going to be negative uh, 66. And then, yeah, so I think, I think we're going to uh, roll in bed. We're gonna we're gonna take a nap in in the middle of the day. And that's what we'll do, and that should be enough. I think I think that'll be yeah. I think that'll be enough for us. Yeah, because at seventy five we should be fine. We should be fine. So yeah, let's save. Let's save it and play on. New event. Nothing good lasts forever, I guess. Time to get back to school. I have a few new classes this quarter, and a few continuations from last quarter. The continuations luckily are being taught by some of the same professors, so I don't have to learn new names this quarter. I even see a few familiar faces in class. It looks like Anna's in here with me. We share a quick nod as we get seated next to each other. I also notice another vaguely familiar face. A, re a redhead girl I feel like I've seen around before. Yeah, from Halloween. Anne notices me looking and follows my gaze. Oh, looks like Roxanne got into this class as well. Huh. Before I can ask more questions, more, the professor strides into the room and throws his notes on the table in front of him. Welcome back to all of you who didn't flunk out of 101. You're not completely brain dead. Welcome to the class where you actually get started. Although I'll be lecturing, and there will be homework, the majority of your grade this quarter is going to come from a paper due at the end of the class. Of course, I'll be expecting your paper to be inclusive to the topics we've discussed in class, so don't think you can just skip my class all quarter and BS your way to a grade A paper. That was half my plan. That being said, as some of you know, I am a tenured professor here, which means I can indulge in more advanced classroom, classroom techniques. If you'd like to know more about it, come see me after class for an extra credit assignment. Otherwise, open your books. I don't plan on going slowly this quarter, so try to stay awake out there. The professor drones on for the rest of the class, getting right into the new quarter's lessons. By the time class is done, I've already got a page of notes to look over tonight. Sure, why not? And by notes, I mean a pile of unreadable dribble. Ugh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to take actually paying attention in class. Maybe you should see what the professor's offer is. I might be able to scam my way out of doing any real work this quarter. I pack up my things along with the other students. But instead of heading out the door, I head over to the professor. Hey, Max. And surprised to see you in, in this class. I transferred over this quarter, actually. I'd heard the professor was interesting. Well, he's still a college professor. What's the worst he could do? Please, I am a tenured professor. I could order you to fight to, to a death, and the worst I'd get from the, de from the dean is a sigh and a frown. And he'd apologize for sighing. Wow. The professor looks over the volunteers. Other than Anne, I see a few other classmates I recognize from other from a, around campus. Apparently, I just volunteered to be tribute. Is this it? I suppose I shouldn't have expected more. The professor looks at me with obvious scorn in his eyes. All right, I know some of you he are here looking to skate out of my class on Easy Street. Pretty sure he looked at me when he said that. Pretty sure he's also right. And there's no way I'm going to let you do so without a little entertainment for me. Therefore, what I'm proposing is simple. You're going to get together in groups. There are enough of you here to make three groups of two. Go ahead and take a few moments and choose your partner. I'll pick up a few other students later. We all look at each other for a few moments. Anne and I look at each other, shrugging our shoulders. Suddenly, the red-haired student I could swear I'd met before comes over to me. Hello again, Max. I didn't think I'd see you in this class. Oh yeah, Roxanne, right? You were at that Halloween party. Yeah, we only spoke briefly. I'm wondering if I didn't do the event, if I would... That's pretty cool. I'm wondering, since I did the event and I met Roxanne, that I they remembered that I did the Halloween party. Nice to see you again. You as well, Max. I was actually wondering if you would like to be my partner for this activity. Oh, I was thinking I'd pair up with my friend there. Anne looks between Roxanne and me. Yeah, I thought we'd partner up. Roxanne looks over at Anne for a moment, as though she's sizing them up. I think you will find me the superior partner for this endeavor. Oh, I do not like her attitude. Wait, what? Do you know what the professor is on about? I'm a pretty good student, you know. No, I don't know what the professor's le what the proposed lesson is. 
However, I've seen what Anne is capable of, and I'm simply better. Yeah, you are not, you're not encouraging me to go with you. 